How's it going everyone? This is Adam and I'm Tony and we are with the Drum Center of Portsmouth and today's video is all about big drums. We like big drums and we cannot lie. So uh, what was the impetus behind this video? Man, I just think that we need to hear more big sounding drums. Like I, it, it, the modern trend right now is dry and small and let's have some fun, big sounds. Well, we picked five really nice big drum kits for you to hear today and you can hear the differences between them. Our first kit was a Ludwig Bonham configuration, classic maple and heritage blue. Indeed, kind of, uh, impossible to do a video on big sounding drums without including the original, which is the bottom configuration. So 26, 14, 16, 18, and I used a 14 by six and a half raw brass superphonic with that as well. And you recorded this kit and all the rest of them with the kick drums completely wide open, right? Yes, I did. Trying to get the biggest sound possible. Super fun to get those types of drum sounds. And I was really impressed by by how unique each kick drum sounded when you don't put muffling in them. It really makes a big difference. Big time. Yeah. Our next big drum set is the Gretsch Brooklyn series in Cream Oyster Wrap. Now this is a really cool kit. It's a 26, which you don't see a ton of Gretsch 26 bass drums in the market with a 13 and a 16 inch floor tom. The Brooklyn series is a little different than the traditional broadcaster and USA custom lines. Yeah, it's the most modern sounding out of the Gretsch uh, USA offerings and it's got the most aggressive sound. Yeah, I got some really cool tones out of these drums. That's for sure. And also to mention too, I used a uh, 14 by six and a half chrome over brass USA snare drum as well.
the George Way Aristocrat series. This is in million dollar baby blue finish, which is a really, really nice looking lacquer finish. Gorgeous. The sizes on this one are 24, 13, 16. Uh, the kick drum on this kit had a really, really cool, almost knocky mid-range thing going on. Uh, so much fun to play. Yeah, and this kit to me stood out from all the others as having a much more vintage vibe to them. And I think that uh, one, the thin shells with the re-rings, but two, the rezo tone heads that these come with are way different than any of the other heads on the other kits. Yeah, it, it definitely helps kind of give the kit a very unique sound overall, uh, more so than the others. And which snare drum did we use? I used a 14x8 uh, matte black Danette titanium snare drum, Ooh. mainly because I just wanted to. The thing sounds so good, it's ridiculous. Really, really nice snare drum. Yeah. Next up, the CNC Player Date 2 Bonzo configuration. I love this configuration because it's a 24, 14, 18. Just a really different, unique configuration and it sounds enormous. Yeah, really fun sizes to play. Not necessarily what I would consider a Bonzo configuration without the 26, but eh, eh, they sound great. Sounds awesome. And we also used a 14 by eight uh, player date one snare drum as well. For our last kit, we wanted to 
try and include a more value line and we chose the PDP Concept Maple in 13, 16, 24. And these drums were a real surprise to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I set up the kick drum first and put a pedal on it and just kind of tuned it where I thought it might sound good. No idea, I didn't really you know, go too deep with it. And the first time I hit it, I just started laughing. It was like, like one of the best sounding kick drums I've played in a while. And, you know, we play so many drums, it's crazy. And for something to stand out like that for me, it's like, wow. Like, <laughs> Yeah, PDP uh, for me is just not on my radar typically. Uh, I might be kind of a drum snob, but when I heard these, like they just sound so big, so open, so round. And this kick drum, like Tony was saying, is just just off the charts. Really, really impressive, and especially when you consider the price point. Yeah, the price point and the Chinese-made heads. Like, this, is, this is the worst this kit's ever going to sound, if that makes any sense at all, because it sounds amazing. I also chose to include the new, for 2020, Concept Select aluminum PDP snare drum with uh, wood hoops, and it is awesome. Yeah, three millimeters thick, it is a really good value. There you have five big drum sets with five pretty unique sounds. I would say so. And pretty unique price points too. I mean, there wasn't a bad one in the bunch. I think it really depends on the kind of sound that you like. I think each kit had its own thing. Uh, personally, if it were my money, the PDP kit is, it seriously got me considering actually getting out the wallet and buying it for myself. That is really surprising to hear from somebody who plays everything. And um, is kind of a snob. He's definitely a snob. I think for me, if money weren't an object, I would probably go with the Gretsch just because I was feeling the vibe on the Gretsch kit. The build quality and the aggressive tone of the Brooklyn's to me stood out. But once again, all of these drums are amazing and there's a flavor for everyone. I agree. It's really a cool time to be a drummer. There's so many options. Let us know in the comments below which one of these was your favorite or if there's another one that we missed that you thought would have been a good one to include. Make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel so that you are notified whenever we put out new content like this. And happy drumming. Oh my God, he's dead. He's dead!